So what are you doing there, Papa? Well, this is actually the first step I'm taking to installing the DC to DC charger. Which will allow us to charge our lithium battery from the alter truck alternator. So I thought, I don't think, this is pretty heavy. And I didn't think that Luan inside the uh, camper was going to hold this. Mm. So I'm going to glue this board and this will end up attaching to the board, through the board and the side of the camper. So the first step is to glue this board into the camper so to give it a little bit more strength. What kind of glue have you got for that? It's here somewhere. <laughs> but you have glue, right? Yeah, it's right here. There you go. All right. What does it say? PL Premium. Basically construction adhesive. Uh, strongest for wood, stone, vinyl, granite, or anything. Okay. Well, that should hold it. Yes, it should. Back to work. So time to run the wiring. So here I started from the battery compartment and then pulled the wires through the frame. Well, I attached it to the battery first, so I didn't, I had something to pull against and then the wire, all the wires didn't come through. I laid them all out together, ran them through the frame, the bottom frame of the truck, and then found this little uh, compartment. You can pull off this little slot here. And I started fishing the wire or getting the fish to go down there. And I finally found a path that I could actually get the fish through. So taped all the wires to the fish and lo and behold, they all came through. I managed to get them through, um, you know, with one fish pole. So, you know, this was the hardest part of the job. The one that I, I wasn't sure how I was going to do, but just looked at on the side there, on the side of the bed rail, uh, there's a little oval slot and that's where the wires ended up going into or coming through. And then I was able to crimp the quick connect and then snap in the quick connect to those ends. And lo and behold, it's ready to go. And that's where the wire will be coming out from the camper. So I have a third wire there in case I want to run a manual switch from a command switch within the truck. So that's for future consideration. So now you can see I've got a lot of room between that front connector in the truck all the way to the camper and uh, a lot of extra wire. So we, I will turn that into an extension later so I can have the option of charging with the truck when the camper is not on the truck. So here you see that uh, board that I glued and screwed and then attached the DC to DC charger. And uh, so now I'm tying into the house system. So there's the positive bus before and after. And you can see the second wire there on the second pole. So I tested the system. Everything worked great. There's lots of great videos online on how to set it up. Uh, but what I did see is that you get a you get a decrease in rating when the unit gets too hot. So I picked up this little blower. Can't remember the channel that gave me this idea. Uh, it wasn't my idea. They're cheap and on, on Amazon. And this one just happened to fit just great right there at the top. Probably be better if it was at the bottom blowing through the back. But this is what all I could do. All right, negative. To the neg negative pole, I put a fuse on the positive pole and then also a breaker, which gives me a manual disconnect. Well, the installation was a lot easier than I thought. I was really, you know, not sure about it, but I researched it. I got all the parts list together. It took me a number of months to get everything together and wait for spring. But in the end, we got it done. If you like these short format videos, give us a like below and consider subscribing to the channel.